Hello, boys and girls. In this river guide episode, we take a look at the Muatta. This is a river in the Swiss canton Schwyz. The standard put-in is at the bridge in Muatatal and the put-out is at the bridge in Selgis. On good water levels, you can also put in further up at the confluence with Starzlen. This here is about 25 cubic meter per second, somewhat below a medium flow, a good level to avoid most stones. The Muerte flows westwards towards the canton's main town, Schwyz, but before reaching it, it turns south and flows into the Lake Lucerne. As the mountains here are not very high, good flows can be expected during spring and into June. This is actually only my second time here. The first time was over 20 years ago and in my memory I categorized this one as not worth the trip and it was not because I was better in the past. However, now I have to revise my verdict. It may have to do with different boats, different water levels or maybe the river did change for the better. I cannot say. Once the village of Muatatal is left behind, the bed becomes more interesting and steeper. It flows through a long S-band that you can use to get accustomed to some eddy hopping. This is followed by a longer straight section. When you see the road bridge crossing the river, you have reached the core section, the Muata Rock. After the bridge, the river turns right and there is a big boulder in the middle of the flow. This is also the steepest section of the whole river. When driving up, you can take a look at it. It can also be portaged on the left side. Depending on the water level and the current flow, a passage on the left or the right side of the rock is easier. If you and your crew are capable enough, this section can be great fun going down from one eddy to the next. As you can portage this section, you can also do the reverse and carry your kayak back up and do it again. As this river offers various difficulties on white water level 1 to 2, it is a good option for beginners who have made first experience on flowing water. As the core part can be portaged, there are plenty of opportunities to improve on the technique and even a swim at the Muerte Rock may be a learning experience, as we all learn from our mistakes, hopefully.
remainder of the motor is considerably easier. There are still quite a few rapids that require a bit of attention, but in between you can enjoy the landscape like the waterfall that comes down from Ilgau from the various different perspectives. The last part toward the wooden bridge at the hamlet of Selgis is straight and embanked. There is one low artificial drop that may have a backflow. The exit is on the river right at the lumber yard. You can find additional information down in the description. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!